In this video, guys, I'll be showing you how to make the text that is seen in Better Minecraft along with the text that is seen in my banner, which is that 3D looking text that I used. And it's actually relatively simple. You have to get this program known as Minimator, and there's also a zip file that you need to get, which you need to extract the file as soon as you download it. So right now I'm on the page where you download the Minecraft letter model. And of course, to get Minimator, you must download it through this page right here. Download for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. So you download, download installer. And then once you download the installer, it should be a simple process to just install the thing. The first thing that I did when I entered here is that I actually got rid of the ground here. Let's get rid of the ground because we want this to be in an open space so it doesn't show the ground at all. Click to open workbench. We're going to go ahead and go to this right here, the model. And so right now I have the T open up already, but to open up these ones, if you haven't already, go to here, double click, MC letters, and then go to the alphabet and you get all of the letters right here. And then for the textures, you can go over to MC letters and then all the textures will be listed right here. All of the textures here can be shown on the preview page of the forms to get an idea as to like what they look like to begin with. So let me pick the gradient to crack. So here we have gradient to cracked. We'll hit create. And here we have the letter T right here. We're going to hit the, the blend color and we're going to change the color of it through this. You can also use the mix, which I don't recommend using the mix per se, but if you want to use the mix, which would give you some interesting looking designs, but I personally don't like it. So let's go over that. And it's recommended to have the brightness level all the way max so that it has the, the, the nicest looking color, you know, for the text. Of course, this only matters for some text, which I don't think this matters for this one in particular, but I think it's, uh, I think it's fine the way it is right now. So, all right, so let's get another letter out here, the letter U. Create. Now the U actually appeared a little lower than the T. And one thing I forgot to do as well is that as you might notice, uh, I kind of forgot to put the texture on the U. One thing you need to keep in mind is that whenever you're doing this, you have to make sure to repeat the exact same step in order to make sure that you got it correct. That is the correct U this time. So one thing they can do to make sure that they're on the same Y level, which is basically the up and down course in Minecraft, is you have to go down to the timeline, click on this, hold shift, click on the other one, and then type in the Y level. You can do this after you're done with all the letters so that it's a lot easier of a process. When you click on the U, it will show you this right here. But what you need to do is then you need to click on the U again to show you this. Cause this right here shows you adding more to the value that's already there. 32 is like the size of each text. It's best to do it by 32. And by the way, remember when I said that in order to move all of them at the same time, you'd have to shift and do all that. You can also do the exact same thing for the color. So you don't need to do each individual color, like, you know, for each individual letter, you can just do it one shot, one go by going to the timeline and holding shift, pressing on each one, and then doing all the additional, you know, needs, like the additional changes and all that stuff later. So I'm gonna do a little time lapse and get the other letters out here. Okay, so right now I have finally finished the basic portion of it. And you might notice that this right here, the eye doesn't exactly look all the best together. Now, the obvious reason why the eye is like this is because the eye is probably the only one that would give you the most difficulty in terms of the spacing. So now we're gonna have to like adjust the spacing manually a little bit just to get the right spacing here. I think around 25 to 20, like four be good. So let's actually put out 24 and let's see if that looks, that looks great so we're gonna move this across to the side here so we're gonna do 16 and now that looks good and so now we're gonna double click on this and we're gonna adjust this by 16 it still has that little gap so let's adjust it a little bit more so 15 is a little too far 14 14 looks perfect all right really you can just adjust it yourself to see what looks good and so now we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna adjust all of these to make it look like it has exact same color as the first two. The way to ensure that you have the exact same color among all of them. So let's go to this right here, the, the T in the front, blend color, copy the hex that you've used for the first one. So I'm gonna hit uh, control C. So now we're gonna paste all of this into the, uh, the, the hex here. So control V, 
and now everything looks good so far. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a camera. One thing to note is that it's best to keep this at zero, this at 180, and to not change the Z as well. So we're gonna use only the position controls here to actually adjust the tutorial here. One thing with this as well, in order to get that nice like rotated title screen, like the rotated backwards, you have to click on all of the letters once again. So let me make sure that I have all the letters selected. We're going to simply rotate the Z. And now we have ourselves a lovely little title. Let's go back to the camera here. So I'm gonna click on the camera. I like to like make sure that these sides right here, make sure that they have a little bit of a gap just so I can see how much I need to adjust each side. Go to this top one right here. This export the current frame as a file. We want to have a good resolution size for this. I personally recommend you guys go for a 4K cinematic one because at least this will be in the highest possible resolution that you want it to be. Remove background. This is really important because now the entire background, including the clouds and all that are gone. High quality rendering, save, and then save wherever you want to save it. I'm gonna save it in my documents. As a little bonus tutorial tip, if there's a watermark on a title, go to a free program like Photopia, which you can search on Photopia right here, rasterize the layer right here, and then hit delete. And now it should be perfectly fine to use. And that is it. That is your text right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the button, subscribe, and subscribe, and I'll be up. I'll see you guys next video. Take care and goodbye.